I got a beep. Michelle Carstensen brings a radio receiver along when she goes out into the woods. If it's beeping fast, she knows there's a fawn nearby. Right here, Michelle. We're looking for uh, uh, to find out more information on fawn survival. And four kilograms. It's a boy. It's a boy. It's all part of Michelle's PhD project for the University of Minnesota, working with the DNR. And the radio collar is designed to be expandable, and it also has a breakaway. So if it lasts possibly a year or so, um, it should fall off after that. And the ear tags are there so that if uh, this animal is killed by a hunter or we recapture it later, we'll have some information on uh, its history. She and other researchers have tagged and tested a record number of fawns this year, thanks to new high-tech equipment. Researchers are able to find this little girl within just hours of birth, before she's strong enough to run away, because of this technology. This is a radio transmitter that's implanted in the pregnant doe during the winter. Then, when the fawn pushes this out at birth, the change in temperature changes the radio signal, so that researchers know there's been a birth, and by tracking this, know where. So we can more easily uh, capture, live capture the newborns, radio collar them, weigh them, assess their health through blood analyses and body weight, things like that. I'll give you some ear tag numbers in a minute. And then let them go with the mother again and follow their survival uh, over the next weeks, months, uh, and uh, years. DNR biologist Glenn Del Judiz has been studying habitat and the winter survival of deer in Minnesota for 11 years. The effort is one of a kind in the nation. And the right rear is 27. Deer are one of the most studied species there is, but there's still a lot about them we don't know, especially related to habitat and human impact. The stuff that we're doing right now is uh, really innovative, and it's never really been done before. The implants cost about $200 a piece, but can be reused. Researchers expect the data they'll collect from the fawns will help maintain a healthy deer population for all of us to enjoy.